Are you gonna take a little souvenir, Emma, of her hair? Is that what you're gonna do? Good morning, you guys. Today was my first day working out with the physical trainer and I didn't even do that much and I feel like I'm dying. I think he was being too nice because he was like, when was the last time you worked out? And I was like, it's been at least three years because it was before I was pregnant with Bryn. was the last time I actually worked out. And he was like, you did pretty good for not working out in three years. And I was like, you're a liar. You're just trying to be nice to me because I know I didn't do good. It was just an assessment day where they checked um, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups. And I was gonna run a mile, but uh, Eric wasn't there and the treadmill was acting up or something. So <sighs> I'm done. I'm going to head home now and tell Justin I'm sorry for saying uh, that this was not that exhausting. I'm just kidding. I, was, I always tease him. But now that I'm here, I'm like, don't tease me. I'm so disgusting and sweaty. Look at you, you're so strong. Look at those biceps, cutie. This is grunting too. Like mommy, <laughs> strong like mommy. I went to the gym like one time and I'm like, oh, I'm so strong. She's trying to copy you. Her little faces are so cute. She's like grunty. She's like, oh, come on now, ready? <laughs> are you gonna go to the gym with me? Mom, mom thinks she's a pro now because she went to the gym once. Clearly, you are. You really are. You feel strong? Yeah. You feel all strong now? Look at those. Look at those. Oh wow, babe. I'm honestly pushing as hard as I can. You actually got a nice little, nice little bump there, babe. Not like me. Not like me, but you'll get there one day. It's actually pretty good. I know. It's not, it's not the best, but it's getting there. It's, it's getting, getting there. there. But I've been going to the gym longer, so. Yeah. Want to smell? Cause I just got home. Well, no, I'm good. You stink. <laughs> You smell good though. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You wanna know why? Why? It's because I got into my new head and shoulders from Costco. <laughs> yeah, so I've been using this head and shoulders complete scalp care two and one for a while now. I've always dealt with really flaky skin, like especially like a flaky dry scalp. I've never been able to find a shampoo or conditioner that's helped me with that, which kind of sucks. Um, but now after using head and shoulders, it's just been helping me with those problems <laughs> so much. Mm. Baby, mm. I'm trying to talk about my conditioner here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, as I was trying to say, <clears throat> is that this formula has just done a really, really good job at keeping my hair moisturized, so I've been just feeling a lot better about my hair. And the best part is, you guys, you can get your head and shoulders at Costco. I've been going there ever since I was a kid, actually, to do all our grocery shopping with my family growing up, and surprisingly, Rochelle and I have never had our membership, and we've been married for five years. We finally got it, and I'm super excited. So excited for that. I've been dying for it for a long time. So make sure you guys go to Costco, go pick up your head and shoulders. And I just want to say thank you to head and shoulders and Costco for sponsoring this video. <laughs> it's so hard to film when you guys are being so cute. Oh my God. You just love talking. You're finding your voice like crazy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, daddy. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Ah! Okay. Are you going to take a little souvenir, Emma, of her hair? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh, oh no, you good? We're good, we're good. Okay, I came to my mom's because she's an angel and she's going to let us borrow a suitcase because we changed our mind. We are gonna check a bag for Ireland. Risky, she's gonna open the garage. Come on, come on. He's freaking out because he doesn't know where you went. Risky! Risky, she's in here. Thank oh wait, make, you. let's make sure it's empty. Oh wait, and he got the code, I think. I'm just gonna put this in the car really quick.
every time I come over there, tries to get me to get something from her some way or another. Usually it's some treat or something. Today it was artichokes from her garden. This thing poked me because the needles are like super sharp, but she gave us two each because of, oh my gosh, they look so good. I can't believe she grew these. These are awesome. I was saying though, yeah, we are gonna check a bag for Ireland. We were really trying hard to do everything in our carry-ons just because I hate checking bags. I'm so scared of them losing bags or I don't really know. I just think it's such a process so we wanted to do everything in carry-ons but it's just not gonna happen with Emma so we decided we're gonna check one bag for the three of us and it's just gonna have all of our clothes that we aren't wearing or like plus one outfit in each of our carry-ons maybe and then that way we will have a lot of extra room and not have to worry about it so much but I didn't want to do it but it seems like it's the right thing to do and I think it'll be the best option for us it's coming up in like 20 something days One suitcase for Ireland, check. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, we're trying right now to get as much done as we can for our trip that's coming up in like, like I said, I think it's in like 20 something days. Traveling with a baby is no joke. There's so much more to do than just when you have the two of you. So we've got lots of things to pick up for the trip to Ireland for her. Okay, I made a list, but we need bottles, yes. bottle cleaner, yes. travel bottle cleaner, bottle travel what? bottle soap. Uh, what, what else? Travel. <laughs> Travel everything. <laughs> well, this is the That's little... the man boob. That's the man boob. Yeah, there you go. go. This is so annoying, you guys. Our camera is broken again. The freaking screw fell out again, so we have to send this one in for a pair. I just need to order that new one. I've been wanting to order that new camera for a long time and putting it off, but at this point, this has been so annoying and such a hassle to send in. We need to use a camera every day that I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and get that new one. We got everything I think we need for her. We need some sanitizing wipes for the airplane because now she's in the teething oh my gosh. stage. She puts everything in her mouth that's going to be in sight. So get some of those. There's probably a lot more stuff that we need. And there's probably going to be stuff that we forget too. But now we're going to go to Kaylee and Patrick's. Um, they're having like a block party, I guess, over at her neighborhood. Well, so never had a block party before. I didn't live in like a nice <coughs> neighborhood when I was getting I mostly lived in apartments. We lived in like one house um, for a short period of time. But I it was like know. a block party neighborhood. I didn't know they did block parties anymore. I used to have them in our old neighborhood, but I have not been to one in like 15 we'll years probably. We'll see how that goes. No. <laughs> Hello! Hi! See you, man. Hi. Say hi! <laughs> <laughs> You're so, so cute. Green guy, okay? Really forcing me to try her green. She's like, it's, it's Jenny Ginger, I'll try it. <laughs> well, if Kaylee wasn't your friend, you probably wouldn't try it. No, so. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm just not a huge fan. It's good. It's good. Gin person. But neither am I. It's but you're not a big drinker. But then you can have it after your water. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. She said okay. You got it. Is that a galaxy? No idea what else. What is it? I don't An know. An eyeball. It's something. It's I like galaxy. Glitter? Galaxy it's got was glitter. a good that's answer. Any, that's all. That we was the best about. answer. Smiling. <laughs> 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 yeah, she yeah, is. I can't tell. So so okay, ready? Okay, go. You don't want drool in your hair? <laughs> that is a big smile. Hi. Love she it. looks like Mama so when she smiles. <laughs> <laughs> We are home from Kaylee and Patrick's block party. We had a blast there. It was a nice time. It's cool to have like friendly people like that to you, uh, that you can like hang out with. We are home, but Rochelle just woke up and she is dying. I don't think she got a long enough nap that she would have wanted. But now we're just hanging out, um, waiting on uh, anybody else from around our neighborhood to invite us to a Cinco de Mayo party, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I got a little bit sunburned too, being out there. At the bar party, I think you guys can see it a little bit. But we wanted to actually talk to you guys about something. There's been uh, some questions from people that haven't been following us through this entire journey through infertility. So we just kind of wanted to recap and let you guys know why we're infertile. After we'd been trying to get pregnant for about two years, we finally got some tests done. So what, I was like 21. The results came back that we have male factor infertility, 
which means that my little guys just were not doing their job as well as they could have. I guess the doctor said that they were like swimming in circles instead of swimming straight. <laughs> so yeah, they just he's he's told us he's like they're just not going anywhere. No, the guy that we talked to first about it. So that's when it all started. We got those tests done. We we were basically told that we didn't even have a one percent chance of getting pregnant naturally which was kind of sucky to hear. And then it finally got to the point where we determined, or it was determined for us, that we would need to go through in vitro fertilization. If you guys don't know what that is, IVF. We have a whole playlist on both IVF cycles that we've done that we can put below for you guys if you guys are interested in like that whole oh, Just that watching whole the progress. process and yeah, how it works. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of information. It's a lot, it really is. It's a lot for this girl over here and she's a strong mama, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's why we're infertile. That's why, I've been just, doing, yeah. <laughs> that's why I've been doing all these tests this yeah. week is just preparing for that cycle mm -hmm. again. So that's why we need to do IVF mm -hmm. and it happened when we were really young, unfortunately. Yeah. But we've been very successful Indeed. in getting pregnant and yeah. crossing our fingers yeah, that, we're hoping that this, this one is, works on is, the first is, chance is again good. and we don't have to do multiple yeah. transfers to get pregnant again. But look at, look at but yeah, how worth it it it's is. It's so worth it. Emma. You're gonna be a yeah. great big sister. Yeah. I can tell. But if any of you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comment box below. We just wanna kinda, if you guys have anything that you're confused about, we definitely wanna let you guys know anything and we, we'll share any information that we have with you guys uh, just about our personal journey. We do journey. have so many videos. Yeah, make sure you guys, you guys go back and watch, watch those too if you're really curious. And we'll be sharing along this whole journey as well, oh, yeah. which we already have been. You guys have seen it's the last be two just videos as have long. been, or the last like two videos ago mm -hmm. have been about the start of the process because it is a long process. Long, fun, just kidding, not fun. You want to do it's the furthest this thing from fun, but it's a good process. Like it's a, it it's draws a you closer together. It's and a huge blessing. Yeah, I'll say just, that. It's good. Most for your, people can't do IVF. It's good for your marriage. It's a huge blessing. Yeah. I would do a million more needles though, just to get another one of you, because you are so spectacular, and I think your younger siblings are going to be just as, <laughs> just as amazing <laughs> as you she are. She's so intense. Yeah. She wants yeah. it so bad. You're so exciting. Yeah. Before we wrap up the vlog for the night, I wanted to share one more thing with you guys. I wanted to remind you guys to make sure to go to Costco and try out this Head & Shoulders 2-1 Complete Scalp Care. I get really dry skin during the winter time, and I, unfortunately I deal with like dry scalp during that time period, um, and I'm still recovering from that. But ever since I started using this new Head & Shoulders, I've realized that it's done an, a pretty amazing job at helping take care of that problem for me. It's just made me feel a lot better too. I don't have dandruff all over my shoulders. Like when I'm wearing black clothes and stuff, I just really hate that. It's really embarrassing. But seriously, this stuff has done a really good job, so I highly suggest that you guys go check it out. It's at Costco. Go get some for yourselves. We're gonna try and make this little girl feel better because she <laughs> is in a lot of pain with her tooth coming in, unfortunately. Her tooth or her, her booty got Booty rash. rash, but yeah, poor thing needs some, needs some love and attention right now, so we're gonna do that. But we love you guys, and thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later, okay? Good night. Break like a twig right under your feet